was drowning in my fears And the twinkle in my eye disappeared And I had no way to look on My horizon seemed to have gone And my whole life seemed empty and bleak Each day and night the answers I seek But when the darkness seemed so strong And I couldn't go on To the sky I raised my hands Making right where we're so wrong I found the strength to carry on Up to heaven where you belong Cause life is but a journey for us all We cry, we laugh, we run, sometimes we fall But through it all, always recall God never gives a burden to tell When the darkness seems so strong And I can go on To the sky I raise my hands Making right what is so wrong I find the strength to carry on to heaven where I belong Up to heaven, heaven where I belong ah, Up to heaven, heaven where I belong ah, Up to heaven To heaven, heaven where I belong. For me, this piano coming into my life every day made my life go from darkness to light. So, uh, and since I've been missing, I've been missing a lot more peace and I've uh, been more stable in my life. Honestly, I can tell you that it's long opened up my life.
I believe that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his messenger. Now let's discuss exactly what is holding up this beautiful way of life called Islam. Notice I didn't say religion. Because with anything, if it's a chair, a table, a desk, it must have legs or it must have pillars. And Islam is just like that. It is suspended by five pillars to bear witness that there is nothing worthy of worship as a God except Allah. And that Muhammad, meaning Muhammad, the son of Abdullah who lived over 1400 years ago. I don't mean the Muhammad that you may know today. That there is nothing worthy of worship as a God except Allah and that Muhammad was his slave, servant, and messenger. The second pillar is the salah, meaning the prayer, that I'm pretty sure that you've seen the Muslims do from time to time. It's something that they do five times a day. The third pillar is to fast the month of Ramadan. This fasting of the month of Ramadan is something that we're going to get into in just a little bit. But for right now, I'm just going to just give you just the pillars and we'll explain them in a few minutes, inshallah. The fourth pillar is to pay the zakat. That's a poor due or an alms due, which is due upon the wealth of those people who have a certain amount or a certain uh, type of income. And we'll talk about that a little bit more later on. And the fifth one is the Hajj. That's something that I'm pretty sure by now that the whole world has seen from at one point or another. So let's discuss this in detail now, beginning with the first one. <laughs> 